Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm just going to go over the names of the different leg muscles above the knee. I'm just going to talk about the names, not the actions for today. So this is the psoas major. Next to the psoas major is your iliacus. So your psoas major runs up and is attached to your spine. Your iliacus is sitting in your iliac fossa. On the lateral side of your legs is the tensor fasciae lati, which is attached to the iliotibial band. Going in the opposite direction is the sartorius. And the sartorius wraps around to the back. It's the longest muscle in your body. Then this group of three muscles in the front, rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis. And underneath the rectus femoris, which I'm not going to show you because I don't want to have to take the model apart and put it back together again, Underneath the rectus femoris is the vastus intermedius. Together, those four muscles make up the quadriceps femoris group. If you look next to the sartorius, there's this little muscle peeking out. That is the pectineus. Next to the pectineus, is the adductor longus. The adductor longus is next to the gracilis. And the gracilis is next to the adductor magnus. If you look next to the adductor magnus, there are two muscles. The semitendinosus, which is superficial, and the semimembranosus, which is deep to the semitendinosus, and it's peeking out on both sides. Next to those is the biceps femoris, And the biceps femoris is called that because there are two heads. And then once you reach the biceps femoris, you're back to where you started at the tensor fasciae lati. So let me put his gluteus maximus back on. This large muscle is the gluteus maximus. Peeking out from underneath the gluteus maximus is the gluteus medius, which you can see the rest of if you pop that off. There's the gluteus medius. Inferior to the gluteus medius is the piriformis. And all the way at the bottom, this square muscle is the quadratus femoris.